Alright, what is up YouTube, X Snyder here once more again with another tutorial for you guys. Just before we get in, if you haven't seen it already, there was another YouTuber that I work along with and his name was Tooncra. If you haven't seen his tutorial, this is literally the same thing, but this is going to go way more in depth, way more in detailed. So stay tuned and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell icon. Alright, now let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so like I mentioned before, I had another YouTuber I've recently worked with, and he made a tutorial on this plugin called Carrot Shops. Now, this is in regards to, of course, Sponge API. So if you're using the Sponge API, Sponge Forge, or, you know, whatever else you're doing, this, this is in conjunction with that. It's not going to work unless you're using Sponge. So to go ahead and go into this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a chest, you're going to need a sign, and you're going to need what you're going to want to sell or buy from players and give them money. It, there's a lot of things you can do in here from infinity, ch infinity chest for admin shops or I believe like an admin chest as well. We're, but we're going to go through it. And you're going to see exactly what I am referring to mostly. So to get started, I have a couple things in my uh, GUI. I have a chest, I have a sign, I have a couple things I want to go ahead and sell, buy, whatever you, you name it. Obviously that you know we need a sign, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get us some stone to just make a platform. I'm actually going to stay in non-creative because sometimes it doesn't work in creative, sometimes it will, but we'll see what happens. To do a few things as a normal player, and this is mainly in survival, you can buy, which was when they come to you and the sign says buy, and they, they right click the sign, they're going to buy it from you. So it's whatever you have in the chest and it's going to buy what is in the chest. In turn, sell your items that you put in the chest for money. The other option is to sell. What happens when sell is the player comes up and it says sell as in that player that right clicks chest or that sign is going to sell said item and in, in turn, it automatically uses your account of whatever economy plugin you're using, and it gives the player money back. But you, in turn, get yourself some nice diamonds, emeralds, whatever it is that you are wanting, given though you should have enough money for it to work. If you don't, it's not going to work. For starters, there's kind of multiple ways you can set this up, and this is going to be pretty thorough, pretty in-depth, so you might want to take a seat and you might want to get comfortable. You put a chest down, and you can do one of two things. You can put a sign here, or you can put a sign here, or you can put a sign here. It actually will work in either way. So to go ahead and, and keep it traditional, the way you really kind of want to do this, is you want to stick a sign on here, and you want to say what you are selling. In the top bar, I'm going to say that I want to buy. Meaning, when you, when you as the person who is making your chess shop and you put in buy, that means you want players to come and buy the said thing that is in your chest. Buy, and then I'm going to put diamonds, or diamond, and then I'm going to put the amount. So times one, or you can do one times, or you can do one. And then you can go here and type in the amount, which would be, I want to sell one diamond for, I don't know, 32. So that's going to be your currency price, the money symbol, and then 32, so that they could see, okay, so I'm going to buy, when the player comes up and comes right clicks on the sign, they're going to see that it's I'm buying one diamond for 32 a piece. All right, cool. Well, what if, what if I want to, oops, wrong button. What if I want to change that? Well, you could come up here and do two diamonds for 32. That's that's really up to you. So in this case, I'm going to keep it nice and simple, nice and obvious, and do times one for 32, and then I'm going to be done with that. The next step is because my sign says one diamond, that means when I put <clears throat> in the chest, it has to be one diamond. If I put a whole stack of diamonds in there, and then I follow through with how to set this up, it's going to say on the sign that it's one diamond for 32, but it's going to give the member who buys this a whole stack of diamonds for 32. So make sure that you have that 
specific number of said item inside the chest when you set this up or else you're going to mess up. So in this case, it's one diamond for $32. So I'm going to put one diamond in the chest. And then from there, you take a redstone dust, which is literally what I have in my hand, redstone dust. Go, go ahead, hit the sign. As you can see, it says buy signs require a chest. You see it's working. The plugins there. It's registering. Hit the chest. I'm doing it creative. So it breaks, comes back. It's glad to know that works. Sometimes it doesn't. So it says your item was stored location of the, okay. So the item was stored. Next would be hit the sign. The sign, as you can tell, creative wise goes away, comes back, and it says buy in a blue color. That is one way that you know that this sign was registered to a chest and to sell whatever items in there. You see that it says you have set up a buy shop. It is buy one diamond for $32. It's kind of a question mark because what happens is you're still hitting it. It's asking you if you want to buy it. Well, the way to buy it is to right click, but if you keep hitting it like this, it's just going to ask you, do you want to buy a diamond for $32? If I actually check my balance, you see I have 132. If I go to game mode zero and I hit it, it's going to ask me again, do you want to buy this diamond for $32? But if I right click it, there you go. I bought the diamond for $32, and if you do balance, I have the same balance because I just paid myself. Another thing you notice is the sign goes red for the buy area. The reason for that is because there's no more chests. But the moment you put a chest in, it may or may not update. But it, that happens. So if it doesn't update automatically by putting that in and registering, one of two things is you can hit it, it'll update. Or you can go ahead, take it out, just so I can show you guys. And you can actually go ahead, put it in there, hit that, hit that, it re-updates again. I don't necessarily have to worry about that, but... I would worry about that to some degree due to the fact that some players might come up and they'll be like, oh yeah, I want to buy a diamond. Oh no, it's red. And then a new player will come up and they'll be like, oh, uh, there must be no diamonds in there. Never mind. I'm going to go find somebody else to buy it from. That is that case scenario. Another option you can do so that I can go ahead and show you guys that it does work because I've done it before is... If you want to break it, you can use your own tool, but I recommend just kind of doing like this chest and the sign first. They might break together, which is even more nice. So you get that done, and then we're going to go ahead and place your chest down. That sign obviously needs to go away for now. And then we're going to put the sign in a different location, as you can kind of see. So we're going to do the same $32, blah, 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 mumbo jumbo. And... We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the diamond in here, hit the chest, hit the sign, and ta-da. Now, because it's buying myself, it's not going to do much. But if you take a look at this, if I right-click it, oh no, I don't have the item to sell, which is selling to the person in regards I'm getting $32. So if I go ahead and spawn in a diamond to go ahead and hold in my inventory, I go ahead, I'm going to go right-click again, and boom, I sold a diamond for $32, and it's actually very possible that I did not get any money. The reason for that is because, again, the way this works is, you know, I'm selling as a player. When I click to sell, it's selling that item in my inventory, which is one of them, for $32. And so all I did was sell myself a diamond, which means I was giving myself $32, which means I wasn't getting any money because that's just how that works. So that's one way you can do it, and as well, you can see that you can put the sign somewhere else. So if you wanted to create a nice little nifty shop, didn't want people to see a bunch of stupid chest, or the other option is, is you come to a server that does this plot-like claiming on the, the spawn. You can actually, if you, you know had one of these purchased, you could build yourself a nice little shop. And if you didn't want a bunch of ugly chest everywhere because of the size of the shop, given that you can still build up and possibly down, you can take these signs and then you could take something like, depending on the mod that you have, you know, you Draconic Evolution Illusion allows you to press P, put it down. You can use Bibliocraft, something to showcase the item you're selling. So like, you know, this was a diamond, so I could take a single diamond and put it, I don't know, right here on the chest. Or if I had a block above it, say I put this down, I can actually go ahead and, you know, put a diamond right there. And it says, look, sell diamond. Well, there's a diamond. 
that's one way to do it for keeping things clean. So you take the chest, put them at your base, you know, and then keep the signs here. That way you can keep these chests filled up from your base and you don't have to worry about constantly going back from spawn to base to spawn to base again. You can just keep filling them up here and these signs stay here and keep your chest full. Again, though, you're going to probably still have to come over here and update it and, and make sure it's not red to keep from players going, oh, red by, you know, skipping it, going to find something else. Put a sign down, and you're going to do I buy. Cool. Diamond again, and times one, and let's see, $32? Well, why not? So put that down again, and check, check, one, bam, I buy. So you have set up an I buy shop. That's amazing. What's that like? Well, there's one diamond in there. If I buy a diamond, there's still a diamond in there. It's an infinite shop. The other cool part is it's still there. The reason why is because it's an infinite shop. So if you have an admin shop and you want to give players the ability to buy things and you don't want them running out, go ahead and set it up this way. They can keep buying it all day until it says you don't have enough money and, well, that's where you screw yourself up. But... I still showed you guys. That is another way to set that up. That's called an infinite shop. You allow your players to buy an item from the spawn and it never runs out. But no one makes any money either. So that's a good act actual feature that uh, you could utilize to give your players the ability to maybe buy spawn eggs. If you either remove spawning of natural creatures or uh, if you lowered them for whatever reason. If you know your server has certain ways of reacting or running and you're like okay i know these players for let's see what's an example enderman if you know people can't find enderman a lot go ahead and put an enderman egg or a ender pearl uh, infinite chest shop that way they can come and, and, and buy them to help them progress because i know sometimes in some games like that it, it's very difficult to progress in certain areas due to the fact of things not spawning or not being able to have the availability to going to another dimension right then and there it depends on how the server and the game is all set up but that's one way you can do if you want to know more in depth on this whole deal and you want to see it in black and white text the link below in the description will take you to this plugin and it will just go into what everything is, what you can do, what the permissions are, how to get it going, and how to set it up. What I'm doing is I'm simply giving you a visual tutorial on how to go ahead and use it when you're in the game. And then I'm giving you how to go ahead and set it up as you put it inside of your server. So now that we got the in-game stuff pretty much cleared, covered, and done, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, try to open up for you guys the way that I do this. So if you go into the config files for my server, if you want to look for the specific plugin you're using for a shop. In this case, it's Carrot Shop. So I clicked Carrot Shop, and there's the commands, the logs, the conf config, the language, configurations, and the shops.json. What we're worried about, if I'm clicking right, is the config.config. Wow, the config.config, .config. that's okay. So you go into here and you can see uh, all of what you can do, which is basically a lot, but a little. So to start off, you can see that it says the cost for creating a sign. You go down a little bit and this kind of goes into the cost of Bank, buy, device, off, device, on, sale, toggle, trade. So this is all for setting how much it would cost for someone to do this, whether it's setting up, you know, chest shops, sell shops, you know, whether it's a trade chest. Trade chest actually can be, you know, trading one item for another item. I have never played with that because everyone literally that I've came across is like, yeah, well, if I want to trade something, I'm going to go to the player. I'm going to trade them an item. So... No one usually messes with that. If true, using signs require empty hands. That's fair. Go to a sign, use an empty hand for it to work. If you have an item in your hand, it won't work. There, There's a good reason why 
people would actually have this option. There are certain mod items that if you have them in your hand and you use it to right click the sign, it could break something and break it really bad. I had a member who had a wand from Better's Wands mod and they were actually able to copy some of the creative items that we were selling and he, they tried to pretty much break that. Well, I fixed it, but other than that, that's why that would be a, a possibility. Um, that's why you should also be careful how you display your items. So if you display them, the actual block, people could copy them. So if there's, you know, that conflict, make sure that you fix it. You ban the item if you need be. But if you're selling it, don't ban it. Ban whatever might, might be copying it or fix your spawn permissions so that they can't do that. There's many things you could do. Um, the other thing on this configuration is the percentage of the displayed price that will not be given to shop owner. Note that this is option. Wow. Note that this option might not work well if you're using a special economy plugin such as the ones that I... Really, dude? That could have been ignored and I could have gone away with not reading that to you because I probably just boarded you. So the next thing on here was basically this. Okay, the percentage of the displayed price that will not be given to the shop owner. So uh, taxes is what that is. So every time something was purchased, sold, or whatever, it basically be is taken by the server, but we still haven't yet played with the server's account on if and where that collects. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Anyone can do it as long as you have the sponge API or the sponge forge whatever you want to call it as long as it's in in your mods folder and That runs or sponge runs then you can actually go ahead and come in here and drop your plugins in I do recommend if you're using sponge and plugins that you make a plugins folder here in the mod directory That way you can keep track of what all the plugins you're running so you just like I said, you drop it into here, you turn your server on. If it runs, it runs sweet from there. You just you add permissions in the game through here. Uh, most people use luck perms, so to add the permission, you usually would be like luck perms. Uh, so let's see. Luck perms, which is LP, and then group, and then group being, let's say you want to use your default group, and then in permissions, set, and then I believe you can actually do carrot shop. I'm using the tab button a lot. So the tab button is very nice because if you're like, I know it's carrot shop, but I don't want to type it out wrong. You can do C-A-R, tab, and then dot, tab again. So that's carrot shop dot admin, dot create, dot admin, dot create. And you can do dot create, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, and then space, and then true. So if you went ahead and did that, it would say set the carrot shop dot create dot buy to true for the default context global, which means that through the whole entire server globally, um, all the members on the default group and above will have the permission to buy a, or to create a buy shop, which is basically the buy sign in the chest. Uh, there isn't much else I have to go with you for this, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If I missed out anything, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Make sure everyone else knows that information. But again, if you have any questions and you want a thorough input on this, you can literally go to the link in the below. Yes, I said literally because you probably should if you really want to make sure you're doing things right. Uh, that way you can get the correct permission nodes and not break something or cause your players to abuse some kind of exploit. So check the link below. Check it out. Read it through. It's really not difficult to read. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. The Discord channel that you can ask me in you know the server link is below in the comments as well uh, i do run my own server feel free to, to do that as well come in ask questions have fun play if you haven't already go ahead and check out tune Cruz as well i'll leave his channel in the comments so that you can go ahead and check that out too other than that you guys have a fabulous rest of the week i think it's friday freaking amazing like subscribe hit that bell icon and i will see you guys around on the next one all right y'all have an amazing day tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake